Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Continuing the, we're going to be continuing the event. Oops, not here. We got these four quests to do, and we'll start Every with Yilan's. Behind the scenes in Leeway Harbor, an adventurer is busy with a certain task. Money has its final day. So we'll start there. <sighs> hmm. Damn it, it's not voiced. Did this area get cleared? Huh. I think it should have been cleared already. <sighs> what a headache. You're the traveler? My apologies, I was too busy. I didn't even notice you. What are you so busy with? <clears throat> so it's like this. For this year's Lantern Right Festival, we of Leeway Harbor Adventures Guild have been dispatched by the Ministry of Civil Affairs to help with some territory task. Territory? The mill lists are primarily responsible for patrolling the city and other key areas. We, on the other hand, get to go out and clear out some monsters, along with those good-for-nothing bandits, too. Speaking of which, you're a registered adventurer as well, aren't you? I've heard plenty about your exploits. If you want, you can help us out, too. What do you say? Isn't it supposed to be the holidays? Well... Since we are helping the Ministry during a holiday, they're providing additional compensation for our efforts. So should any adventurers be willing to take on these commissions, they'll be able to collect more rewards upon completing their task. How much additional compensation are we talking about? Trust me, it's plenty. That depends on how much work I still have left. <laughs> Alright, I knew you want to just stay idle. I'll be sure to mark down all the locations already confirmed by the guild. Also, please take this miniature launch tube. Should you accept one of the commissions, remember to launch some fireworks after you clear out an area. After you launch the fireworks, we will send someone to designate the area as cleared. And then we will adjust the overall plan in accordance with the areas that have been cleared. Sounds pretty strategic. Yeah, this is Latin Rite Festival after all. We can't let anything go wrong. People are more tense than the stretched cord right now. Never mind this for now. I'll go take a look at the situation. Need to make a report to Lon later. Okay. Did this say number two? No, it said number one, okay. Just kill a bunch of monsters and that's it. Shine down. Everyone hold hands. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh damn it. can't tell, I've been trying to farm Venti, a uh, perfect set for Venti, not going too well. Okay. Okay. Reach next area quickly. Archon sure clears mess up quickly, that's for sure. There is 
No escape. I see everything. What am I be able to knock everything out in this one? Stronger and stronger over time. Not giving shit for more for their drop. Well, it's 30 though, and for the completion, it's pretty good still. Guess that's why they aren't dropping much for more. gave primos but the quest reward does that's probably why they don't instead of wait is this all the way in Sumeru? why am I doing this in Sumeru? I guess they figure those mobs might be quick to kill. Oh! 
Okay, and the last one of the third group. You've got to be up close to him. And then she can't even attack things that fly. Well, I guess she can't with her E, but... Well, luckily, Venti's in the party to make up for that. Of course, it's going to suck when you run in, start running into... Uh, a Nemo flying things. Gonna he does have the physical. And it's still triple shot, so. Cause I do got a D2. There is no escape! Okay, and this is the third one of this group, I think. I thought the wop whopper flower might have been an issue. Luckily, let's not. Oh, there's more. Oh, we are in Mondstadt now, I just realized. I think this is Mondstadt. Maybe not. No, definitely not. Illusion shattered. I see everything. Okay, now that's the last one. We'll do Beto. Vigilant at sea during Lantern Rite, Hyuxing, the navigator of the Crux fleet, seems to be preparing for a unique training test. and Kazuha's here. This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls. 
Makes me want to sing out loud. Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but... I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no-drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. Okay. Not an expected dialogue to run into here, but... Okay. Long time no see, Jeruma and Paimon. Happy Lantern Rite. Thank you, Hyuxing. Paimon also wishes you well. Happy Lantern Rite. We've seen that the Alcor has a lot of seaborne goods and decorations, and it's as bustling as in the city. Looking great, no? All of the decorations were handpicked by the captain. She wanted her brothers and sisters on duty to feel like they were at home for the festival. Not only that, before the lantern rite, the captain gave each of us a bonus and organized several big feasts. The food for every feast is ordered from reputable restaurants, such as the Wan Min restaurant, which we always frequent, and Xingyun Kiosk and Lilu Pavilion. Everyone ate and drank their fill. Paimon wants to check those out too. Wow, a bonus and a feast? That's great. Paimon had no idea that Beto also had such an eye for detail. Actually, the captain has always been meticulously keeping the fleet's affairs in order. Not only do we crew members get paid very well, but during la past lantern rites, she's also prepared gifts for our families. Before the captain got some business information from the Team Quan on how to improve management strategy from the Crux, the revenue of the fleet has soared, so the captain has also increased our pay. In this way, the crew will be in tip-top shape for any challenge. When the new recruits hear about how well the Crux fleet treats its crew, they'll be extra motivated. New recruits. Eh, during Lantern Rite, shouldn't everyone be on vacation? You guys seem to be... Working overtime. It's not like that, don't worry. The captain has done all the research in advance. Some of the crew were given early leave, while the others were given days off later on. Thus everyone gets time off, and there will always be someone to man the Alcor. I was among the group that got earlier vacation time, and came back to my post completely refreshed. I'm currently getting ready for my training examination, Vigilant at Sea. Vigilant what now? Is it to do with new recruits? Yep, you guessed it. During the past two years, the volume of seaborne trade in Leeway Harbor has been soaring, and many people have joined up as sailors. Taking to the high seas is a matter of patience, bravery, and perception. These are highly demanded qualities. Sailors have to be well trained in order to navigate safely. In addition to obtaining the four major qualifications and the five minor qualifications, which total nine navigation-related qualifications stipulated by the Ministry of Civil Affairs, two years of maritime training and apprenticeship are also required. Nine qualifications and two more years of training. How oh, macro. That's so demanding. It's no big deal, after all. It's far better to undergo rigorous training and preparation for work than to go out to sea and encountering an unpleasant surprise unprepared. The Ministry of Civil Affairs organizes most of the training courses. Anyone with a passable knowledge of sailing could coast by them. These subjects aren't too difficult. 
Of course, some ships will also have to traverse dangerous waters, which will hope for, hopefully give them some experience. Given the experience of the Crux fleet in dealing with rough sea situations, we and the Ministry of Civil Affairs have organized an intense navigation training program. Sellers who pass the training will get a deep sea navigation qualification certificate on completion, as well as some rewards prepared by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Considering I have the best knowledge of the surrounding waters, the captain has tasked me with planning this training examination. Wait a minute. Speaking of selling, you two are pretty good with that wave rider, no? Do you guys want to give it a try? If you don't mind, I would also like you guys to give me some feedback about this test, positive or negative. That way, I'll be able to prove it in a timely manner. Well, Paimon wants to see how much skill the crew needs to navigate the high seas. There's a bonus reward too. It's a win-win for us. Let's experience what it's like to be a seller. Touch figure, then I'll mic mark you guys down for the Vigilant at Sea examination. Please do your best. Vigilant at Sea has both a multiplayer billowing wave mode and a single player tranquil waters mode. You may obtain all rewards by completing challenges in either mode. Vigilant at Sea has three stages. Before each challenge begins, a stage will be chosen randomly. View gameplay details for the rules of the different stages. The Wave Rider will not be able to use its heavy cannon while the challenge mm. begins. You I'm gain random techniques by really collecting mean. prop lamps in each stage. Make use of these techniques to smoothly sail through the challenge. Damn! During the challenge, the Wave Rider's HP will be replaced by durability. In Billowing Wave Mode, once the Wave Rider's durability is depleted, you will lose all challenge coins. You have already gained an Enter the Voyage Observer state. Your Wave Rider will not be able to collect any challenge coins or prop lamps in this state. You will exit this state after a while and your Wave Rider can participate in the challenge again. In Tranquil Waters mode, once a Wave Rider's durability is depleted, the challenge will end and your score will be calculated. The more challenge coins you have at the end of the challenge, the higher your final score will be. Okay. Vigilance at a total of 5,000 score. Okay. So my go is 5,000. Okay, I don't want to read all this. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll be doing this in single player, so... Sea conditions are consistent, and there are no other vessels in target waters, and very suitable for kicking off Vigilant at Sea. Let's start. Okay, be sure to give it your all. I could matchmake. Let's do solo first. Tranquil Waters mode, you will start the challenge in single player mode. At the end of the challenge, the more challenge coins the player has obtained, the higher the final score will be. The challenge mode will end and the final score will be calculated if the Wave Rider's durability is depleted. When the score reaches the maximum limit, limit continuing the challenge will not grant you more points. Check the gameplay details for more information. Show me the Mora and Fortify. Okay, obviously we should avoid that. Oh shit, there's a time on that. Okay, I see the vortex.
Okay, I don't even... Well, 43 is what I'm getting. Which is 789. Okay. Let's start. Would we'll give co-op a try now. In the billowing waves mode, you will start the challenge with other players in co-op. During the challenge, if your wave runs durability is depleted, you will lose all challenge coins and enter the Voyage Observer State. You may join this challenge again after the Voyage Observer State ends. At the end of the challenge, the player with the most challenge coins will win. Each player's final score will be calculated based on their total challenge coins obtained and the outcome of each individual mini-challenge. When your score reaches the maximum limit, limit, continuing the challenge will not grant you any more points. Check the gameplay details for more information. Okay. Okay, this one's different. Only see the vortex at the center of the wave are. Hmm. So we're all racing for the coins. See that I just lost. Okay, I don't like this. Not a fan of this game mode. I definitely want I don't like that. We're going on to the next quest. The thing is... Let's do paper theater. A few words in the foreground. Man's melancholic yearning adepti and demons and a heartfelt romance played out with paper.
A performance going on at the North Wharf. Hmm. This notice is so vague. It doesn't say what the show is or who's going to perform it. Paimon wonders where the location is, but if we can't find it, we could always ask people on the street. There's a lot of people there. Ah, Paimon also sees it. Whoa, so many people are gathered there, maybe just for the show. Let's ask around. I'd prefer not ask around. Fortune and health, peace and wealth. Hello? Is there going to be a performance here soon? Yes, there's going to be a paper play. Are you guys here for it too? So this opera is called paper play? No, paper play and leeway operas are not the same thing. Thing thing. The show is about to begin. Be quiet or you'll affect the performance. Sorry, and for the paper play, you'll know it when you see it. On our guess, we will be performing Brave Bird to Brave Beer today. Before the show, if you want to head to the restroom go or grab a beverage, now is a good time. We will wait for no one when the show begins. So this performance is actually called Brave Beard, but Paimon has never heard of this story. Shh, we can still hear you even at a whisper. Keep it down. You can talk during the intermission selection. Uh, sorry. Intermission selection? The story of the brave beard is quite long. In fact, it'd be too long to do it all in one go. So Ying Gong will let the audience pick which scene they want to see during an intermission. Ling Xing, I'm trying to listen to the play. Oh, I won't butt it anymore, I promise. So dear guests, what part of the brave bird story would you like to see today? Would you like to see mounted bound or worshipping adepti? Maybe exercising demons or ascension? As long as you can name it, I can perform it. I want to see the Brave Beard fight monsters. He is so handsome and wins every time. You've seen Worshipping Adepti and Exercising Demons so many times already. Haven't you got tired of it? I want to see the part where the Brave Beard goes home to see his sister. The Brave Beard has a sister? How have I not heard of this? I definitely haven't seen that before. How impressive. Not many people would request homecoming. After all, only the real fans know about it. Alright, just in time for Lantern Rite. We will not perform the plots featuring monsters. We shall spin a tale of how lovers end up together. Can he just say his sister? Lovers end up together when he just talked about his sister. There are three characters who shall appear in this scene. Aside from our brave beard, with whom you are familiar, of course, there's also a lonely girl named Yibbing and an honest gentleman named Nangfeng. Nanfeng. Do you understand any of this, Jeruma? Paimon's still confused. So this is a story about a guy called Bravebeard, right? It looks like there's a lot of supporting characters as well. But so far, there's only one performer on stage. Uh, and there's a folding screen. How's it gonna work? Hey, someone here has never seen a paper plate before. Eh? Someone in the back asked how I, a lone performer, can be in different places at once to make this performance work. Well, our paper plays may not be as exquisite as leeway operas, but we certainly have our own distinctive flavors. As you may know, the characters in leeway operas are portrayed by real people in the flesh. The actors in our performances, however, are portrayed with paper figures pa pasted on silk. And leeway operas take place on a large wood stage. The stage for our performances, however, is but a paper screen on a wooden shelf. Our actors and stages are all made of paper. That's why we call it a paper play. I am the narrator, but I am no actor. You will meet the three paper actors in just a moment. Egon, I don't think they know about the brave beard either. Would it be okay if you introduced them to a story? You know, the one you always start with? That's called the establishing moment. I've always enjoyed that too. Please perform it for us, Yin Gong. Establishing moment. Establishing moment. It is said that the sky is the limit, but the woos of the world are also limitless. There was once a man named Yin Guang suffering from human injustice, who resorted to dwelling amongst the mountains and rivers. By chance, he became a disciple of an adeptus, changed his appearance, and grew Blackbeard. Thus, he is now known as Bravebeard. At the behest of the Adeptus, he struck down monsters and scared off demons with his sword. The Brave Beard trained for many years and finally acquired the philosophy of the Adeptus. Right before he returned to the Adeptal abode, he was summoned to recall the past. It turned out that he still had an attachment to the common folk society where he had a sister at home. 
poor sister, Yabing, was now alone and helpless. She saw that her brother had lived a miserable life and never imagined that he would return home. As to what happened next, I shall show you right away. Hey, don't just stand there. Clap. Clap along. Is there a rule about when we should clap? Uh, okay. Thank you all. We are supposed to continue the show, but I can tell that these two guests are still a little perplexed. I think it would be better if I asked these two to volunteer from the audience by coming forward and assisting me in directing the scene. It will give you both a good look, and it will help the actors move forward on the stage. What do you think? Really? Why didn't you invite me? I know all about paper plays. You gotta remember to invite me. You just gotta. You've been up there too many times already. Quit making a fuss and enjoy the show. That's fine by me. Help direct the scene? That sounds so novel. It's also fine by Paimon. Then I shall ask you two to prepare. As soon as you two are in position, the performance will begin. Okay. So are you ready? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you Homeward Brave Bird. Okay, this one will wait. That will be in the next one. What is this one? <laughs> we'll go to this one's quest too, I guess. Where do you want to go next? Get everything started. If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I have a few references. Hey, happy lantern right, esteemed ones. You guys have been having fun? How about going on a special adventure with me? Oh, you call us esteemed one. Such great attitude. Recently, we've been having a lot of fun, but why is Paimon getting a strange feeling that we've met before? You guys are extremely diligent adventurers, so I'm sure we've bumped into each other at some point. I'm Tian Tian. I usually hang out around the uh, Fiyun Slope, looking to recruit new people into the adventure skill. Everyone and their cats and dogs passing by have probably heard my voice. Do look a bit familiar, but I mean, that's a pretty generic model. Yes, it means my efforts were noticed by you guys. All the more reason for you to experience my masterpiece. At this point, of course, we'll lend you a hand. Can you tell us a little bit about your particular adventure? Sure, then I'll cut to the chase. Recently, I came across a new novel at the Wanwin Bookhouse. No, that's not it. Rather, I gathered some new information. I've noticed that people's expectations for adventure are rising, and activities such as climbing and wind gliding are not as exciting as they used to be. In order to get more people to join the Adventures Guild, we need to come up with more novel and exciting approaches. So I teamed up with a couple of other recruiters, pulled together our resources, consulted a few expert mountain climbers and firework craftsmen, and designed a new racing challenge. There are many mechanisms laid out in the challenge. Just step on them and use the momentum from the fireworks and gunpowder blast to accelerate into the sky. Fireworks? Gunpowder? So for the challenge, you want us to blast people into the sky? <laughs> Rocket propelled Paimon. Why are you so excited? You're also going up. Although, with your strains, an explosive barrel bursting in front of you wouldn't phase you. But who knows? It might just blow you away. <laughs> Not to worry. The explosion is contained inside a tough device. I've taken the necessary precautions to make sure it's safe and injury free. I've also filed a patent with the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have publicized this event many times. Please do not steal my idea. <laughs> there are so many hurdles. You've, all, you've really put a lot of thought into this. As far as I can tell, just doing this racing challenge will stir the spirit of adventure even in an average passerby. Steamed ones, your reputation precedes you. If you guys take point on this racing challenge, you'll be sure to attract a lot of people. I have also prepared great rewards for the challenge. They'll be sure to encourage more people to join the Adventure Skill. Oh boy, time for Paimon and me to get blown sky high. Hey, 
Simon sees you laughing. As TNT and said, it's perfectly safe. Don't you want to give it a try? And it's a deal. Without further ado, please give it a whirl. <laughs> there are also a lot of tracks for you to try. I'm sure you'll have a good time with them. And I'll get a couple months worth of results. It's a win-win. Okay. We'll give these ones a shot now. Really? In the Radiant Sparks Challenge, the less time taken and the more challenge coins collected, the higher your final score will be. During the challenge, you can obtain the technique Sparking Rush by collecting a gestus of sparks. By unleashing Sparkling Rush, the character will dash forward, collecting all challenge coins nearby. Additionally, Sparkling Rush can pierce through the barriers of the obstructing fruits. Approach firework fruits to rapidly leap into the air using the fireworks power. The wind Glider will automatically deploy upon reaching the highest point. Solidify. Shine down. You rest for a while waiting for the perfect something. Okay, this is weird. I feel like I've missed some coins. I've definitely missed some coins. 3,900 though. Ah, I missed two. Do I care enough? No, I do not. So I just need 30,000 points on all these. I tried pressing E to dash. Seems a bit too linear, honestly.
Okay, I got them all that time. Hmm. Back at Samaru again. Or does this count as a chasm? No, it's Sumeru. Hmm, I probably should dash. I did, okay. Okay, another 3,000 here. Three thousand on them all. Oops. Yep. And this one is probably a lot of dialogue, so that this one could wait till the next one. This one I've got a lot more to do. Then this one's completed. Okay. 
There is something that I wanted to look at, though. Because I've seen some NPCs running around here. I want to see what their dialogue is as well. Let's see who all. I just want to go through the Leeway Harbor. Madam Ping is not here. Wrong time of day, maybe. Oh, why? Hello, child. Though flowers bloom, yet always fade, but people go yet return another day. I just knew that you'd be back to see me before long. <laughs> and goodbye. Goodbye, young one. If you are ever passing by Union Karst, please pass on my regards to my old friends. If it is meant to be that you see them, then you will see them. Okay, no dialogue from her. Let's see, I see nobody over here. Okay. No, I seen the two at the dock. I want to look around and taking the sights of all this. I doubt there's any over here. So I guess the two of the dogs don't one, so... Okay. I didn't expect to run out of stamina right there, either. These weren't the right dogs. Yeah. Nobody's here, either. faster to teleport to the other one. Could I teleport to this? No. Let's see, I know I've seen them over here somewhere. Here they are. I wonder what they've got to say. Okay. Now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought of a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, oh man! Yeah! It. I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's their dialogue. You figure you run into somebody else. But I guess they didn't have a pardon, so. I mean, they did, but they didn't. Have That's everybody then. We'll finish up the rest of the event in the next one. Wait a second, is that who I think it is? Divorce? Okay, I'll see what he has to say. I didn't realize he was over here. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! You mean the show? Yes! When I heard the music coming from up in the clouds, I was so stunned, I could barely think or move. I felt like it had a special kind of hold over me. 
Hmm. Or maybe it was the adeptal power within the music. And the ensemble at the end was truly sublime. I felt like I would have started to cry if I hadn't been one of the performers on the stage. Hmm. Magnificent! Absolutely what are your plans for the future? Well, Lady Ningwang, the Tian Xuan of the Li Yue Qixing, has invited me to visit her again at Yujing Terrace to discuss a long-term collaboration plan. I do hope everything goes well and that we have more opportunities to collaborate in the future. The next time we have another performance, you'll have to come. I will save the best seat for you. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! About the fairy lady. <laughs> I have already given her my thanks in person. This is what she said. It is only natural to lend a hand when we see someone in distress. The wonderful music you brought to Li Yue is worth far more than gratitude. Truly, I, I felt so honored. But I've also made a decision for myself. I will strive to create even more wonderful, original music for this era. Our era. <laughs> Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent. Okay, so that's everything. We could have accomplished all this without you. Please accept my most heartfelt thanks again. Hmm. That was a pretty good story, honestly. I liked it. But we'll win this one here. We'll finish up the event in the next one, and then from there, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But if you watch this, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.